jumpy thing. Come on, Jones, what would you do? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd, you I'd find try something and find floating. Something that, uh, yeah, I'd find a floating. Massive Like a flotilla or some, something that would, you know, support me enough. Then I would look for some form of flammable floating liquid like oil. I'd be aiming to get something like that for protection. Okay. Get it encapsulated within a. Uh, something buoyant so that it doesn't go floating everywhere because otherwise I've wasted it. Okay. And then uh, I have a defence. Um, and then, yeah, I'd be looking to... What the hell? Don't go down there. There are handprints there. Yeah. I don't uh, think I have to get up. With handholds? The, 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 the problem with your strategy, right? There is no problem with my strategy, oh, right? yes, basically, is. right? That's it, I would, I'd would, i get myself some form of defense, but that's only for a coastline. That's not no, for... No, you have to do it from, from where you are, maybe. Well, that's what I said, I'd aim to go for a coastline, but if I couldn't make it to the coastline, then I would aim to be going underground. Under so aim... the ground? Yes, because energy levels are you know, a lot lower, you don't need to, you don't need as much to keep things going, so you can survive for longer. You mean like a cave? No, because caves are easier, I mean, I, why is all these handprints, man, and footprints? Um, I would, I'd either dig something out, I mean, we've got machinery that can build some pretty decent stuff. You could have a fully fortified structure set up hmm. with using machinery, and you'd only have one entrance and exit that was had full visibility so you wouldn't come out when there was anything around there okay well so you're not gonna last long do you know what i would do so automatically i'm not gonna last long no your, your idea was terrible go on then <laughs> go on then how well, come the thing is better? the thing is right how are you gonna get to underground how are you gonna get to the ocean the 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 thing about survival is you need to act fast and get yourself sorted as soon as you can. Yes, yeah, so you just go to the nearest shop. Mine's quite bloody close. How are you going to get in there? It's full of zombies. I mean, it's not. How, do, how is it automatically full of zombies? Because it always is. That's the way it works. No, it, well, obviously it doesn't always work that way because I'm not thinking it would work that way. So, Look, you're going by just purely TV. And well, film stuff. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, where, where, where else is your uh, judgment based on? That that's always the way it works. TV? <laughs> and... <laughs> Shut up. Don't judge me. See, I'd have to get myself armed up Thank pretty quick. Of yeah. no, you don't need weapons, you don't need it, you just need You do, because you, you, you need to you just need all the rest of the dickheads. You just need uh, blunt objects, that's it. Really? Yeah, there's no need for weapons. Hey, Dawn of the Dead style, you know? No oh, weapons like were mentioned. Bats. Yeah, but no weapon, they never said weapons. You never take a weapon, it was always... Were well, you going to get the blunt objects? Yeah, fair enough. I'm kind of lost as to where I'm going. Um. See, so I'd get myself kicked up in uh, like motorcycle armour, maybe. Something like that. Hmm. Some, some kind of armour, like two or three pairs of jeans. But hang on, leather that jacket. Only, yeah, that works if you're if you've got it to hand. But I don't. But I have. I've got three pairs of jeans and a leather jacket. Okay, right, fair enough. And I've got gloves with armour on and carbon fibre and all that good stuff. Exactly. You've already got so what? There's nothing I could do there. I would find myself a piece of wood, uh, chair leg, table leg, something like that, straight off the bat. Sorry, a bit of wood? Yeah. Wood. Blunt objects. Sorry, sorry, I forgot they're called blunt objects now. A bit of wood? Yeah, like a chair leg or a table leg, something like you that. You wouldn't fashion yourself an electronic gizmo that would screw people up? Not straight off. I've literally okay, woken okay, up. Okay, okay, I've woken okay. up, found out there's a zombie apocalypse within five minutes. I've already done this. And well, you've got to rest within five minutes. Clever you. Awesome. Heavenly gift. Completed. Go to the beach, look for supplies, talk to... Talk to that person. Yeah, so... 
I'm now wearing two or three pairs of jeans, leather jacket, a little piece of wood, a backpack with some emergency supplies like water and tin food. Yeah. I got a pen knife or multi tool. I head to the garage. So I got a garage, a motorbike in it. I leave the motorbike. I pick up the biggest spanner I can find. Which would probably be yourself. Probably be tarantula or something like that. See what I did there. Right, yeah, biggest I spanner see I can that find. I got there first. And then obviously you've got to think about where you're gonna go. Now everybody who survived the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it's going to want to get away from everyone else, right? Which means right. you could head to like uh, the islands off the coast or whatever to try and get away from the zombies, but everybody else is going to go there. This is the issue. Right, okay. Hmm. You have to try and think of somewhere where... Underground? No, not underground. How are you going to get underground? I just told you there's machinery. So you're going to get a big bit of machinery and dig yourself away on the ground. That's what I was saying. I'll tell you what, if we get a zombie apocalypse, let me know where you're going, so I can go the opposite direction. Well, no, you're surely only you'd want to be killed. No, surely you'd want to be around the same area to watch and laugh. No. 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 Not at all. No. What the fuck is going on with that? With what? The alcohol just keeps respawning. How dare it. And it's taken me this long to figure it out. How much is uh, alcohol worth? Right, are, are, are you going to pick up the quest reward or have you done that? Yeah, I've done that. I'm just trying to figure out why the alcohol keeps turning up again. If you bring me some canned food, I'll... Okay, okay, okay. Now. Difficulty, blah, XP, cash. No. Get off. Get off. Get off. I can make you a good, healthy meal if you bring me canned food. Hey, if you need some. And it's only worth five. We do jobs very quiet. You're on your way to her life. Um, I'm not sure what you want me to say. You said you were doing something and then you... I was waiting to hear the rest of this... How you deal with things. That's as far as i got so far. Look, we can't... Right, so vehicles, you get dressed. Vehicles are useless. Apart from when they have a use. Well... How much use are they actually going to have... In a zombie apocalypse? Um, well, mate, I don't know. Oh, jeez, could you attach things to Would vehicles and maybe, and like, javelins and be able to mow vehicle, things down? Yeah, you, you could probably get somewhere fast, but it's a death trap. Need to find so are you. Will, people will hear, no, people will hear it coming from a mile off. Ah, so it'd be good as a lure for a trap and then you could clear the area of all zombies. Yeah, apart from the problem that you're sitting in the middle of the trap. No, you're not. Not if you've got a brick. Or it'd be good as a lure. You send it off like on a long road somewhere, fix it, on the motorway, bang, just send it off. It wouldn't be a hundred percent straight, but it'd go sort of bounce around, career off somewhere. And it the noise is going the other direction. You just stay silent, keep under the radar. The vehicles could have a use. I'm five car batteries. May have already found one. No, I want to drive, man. I want to drive. <laughs> so I think we've established that jobs will get me killed if it happened. And you and you'd get me killed. No, I wouldn't. You would. You'd expect me. You'd be like, get in there, man. Get in there. I'd be like, I don't want to get in there. There's no point. I'm going home. And you'd be like, get in there. Get in there. And then I'd do it, and you'd end up saying, oh, you shouldn't have gone in there like that. And I'd be dead. See, after um, my initial. Biggie for surviving and all the rest of it. Whoa, 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 extra bail out, extra bail out. Um, I work on making myself a bow. 
and some arrows. Because, believe it or not, I know how to do it. In theory. You know how to make arrows. Bow, I, I can understand, but arrows? Well, the bow's the difficult bit, not the arrows. But really? The, the bow? Yeah. Okay. You disagree? Uh, uh, I reckon they're as, as difficult as each other. No. They're not. What do you think is difficult about making arrows? Uh, well, first of all, finding and shaping the metal or whatever it is metal? that's going to be used as the tip. You use wood. If you, don't, only, if, you don't need if a metal tip. Only, if you're just going to do that, then there's not much point because they break and blunt jumps, very jumps. easily. Yes? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean they break? They break and blunt very easily. They're just wood. Yeah, but it will stop a zombie or a rabbit with just a point of it of wood. No, not necessarily. Yeah, not if you get them in the not if you get them in the leg, they'll just you know ignore you. You haven't got a clue what you're on about. Wooden ones are good for training. That's what they're good for. They're a good pointy for stick. Honing your skills. You can fish with a pointy stick, man. Yeah, but that's that's not bloody bow and arrow, is it? Let's be honest. That's a fucking javelin or spear. Island guide, I found. Yeah, I've already found one back there. You can use a, an arrow with just a sharpened stick, a sharpened end, but still wood, to shoot rabbits and stuff. Yeah, the arrow is the about, easy part. Right, we're talking about a living, like, not an undead, a living creature that yeah. if you shoot it, it's going to be severely injured and it's movement impacted and that sort of thing. So you could, you could have could a fire, chance. If you, if you used a bow, you could fire one of them like, and have it sticking out of a human being. Only if you didn't break it when you first tried to use the bow. Why would you break it when you first tried to use the bow? Because you made the bow. Well, not yet, I haven't, because it takes two weeks. Two weeks to make a bow? Oh, yes, great, so... You've, it's do, got do you want me to talk you through, through making a bow? No, I'd like you to explain how all of a sudden you went from... I got out of... I got. I realised within five minutes that there was a zombie apocalypse and I got my coat on, Maybe yeah. to it's going to take two weeks for me to be able to survive. Well, no, because I've done oh my, my initial God. bit, and after the initial bit, you work After on... the initial bit, you've got two weeks of starvation, so when are you actually going to be... Well, no, you don't have two weeks of starvation, because you pack the cans of food. Oh, so where did you get this food from? My house. Bastards. You've got... All right. All I've been to your house. Shh, shh, don't, 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 don't tell anyone. There's no cans of food. There's none at mine, either. Okay, okay, you can live for a month without yeah. food. Actually, that's a lie, but the two cans of things that I've got, I think, oh. are out of date. Maybe so they've essentially nothing. No, but seriously, seriously, you, you shoot me down here and... You shot me? I, I explained mine and you immediately went, so you're going to die. Well, well <laughs> yes, all you're going to do is dig a hole in the ground, sit down and cry. No, because yeah. then I can go, then I can farm. Oh, what, underground? I have, I have a defensive base. I have a defensive point where I can begin... Where people can lay siege to and... All the rest of it. Only if Keep they moving. know it's there. It's underground. Keep moving, man. They don't know. It's completely sound dead and everything underground. And a car battery. Yep. So you're What's gonna it? just run around a bit. I'm not gonna run around. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're gonna. Well, walk around then. I'm gonna keep moving. Down my own. To where? So Wherever. what happens when you come across um, somebody that's also a survivor and they appear to have slightly better things than you do? Well, you shoot them with your bow and arrow and take it. Yeah, but they pull a weapon and shoot you with their gun first. Well, only if they knew I was there. And there's a group of four of them. There's a group so of four So you manage to get shot off one or two and the other ones kill you immediately well, on no, sight. No, they don't kill me immediately because I'm silent. Really? So there's now, only now, one of me. Now you've You're not there silent. to give me away. Well, yeah, it's not I, easy. I'm not, it's not I, difficult. I'm not, I'm not, don't care if you get married, mate. I'm not giving you away. It's up to you. Do what you want. Anyway. Arrow, the, get back to the arrow situation. Arrows are easy to make. Because you need willow. If you think about a willow tree, right? Willow? That, yeah. She weren't bad, yeah. They I have... Um, She's better than Buffy. The branches that hang down. Yeah. Yeah, you know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I, know, I understand the concept They're of long and thin, and they're straight. Right. Yeah, so all you need to do... They're not quite straight, but okay. They're pretty freaking straight. Um, you can do minor adjustments afterwards. So all you have to do is chop a load of them, and hang them up somewhere dry, 
and warm. Get in the bloody car. Dude, get in the car. Um, I'd like to say, have we got enough batteries? Because I just said it, so I've already said, have we got enough batteries? Yeah, probably. Probably, right, okay. As long as we probably might have enough. Yes, I have all five. The, 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 the tricky thing is, um... Driving, the bow. apparently. The bow, you need to find uh, a decent piece of wood. Um, I don't know the exact tree, but... Hello. You tree. Oh, shit. I'd, um, be able to chop into some trees and figure out Hello. which one it is from Hello. the colour of the wood. Just what the hell are you doing? The thing is, with a bow, you need to soak it and strap it against something to give it a curve, and then you dry it out again, or you let it dry out. That's why it takes so long. You know, you can make um, you wouldn't need to, but you can make string out of oh shit intestines. Oh yeah, you could do. So I'd get you killed, and then I've got your intestines. You can make string out of uh, stinging nails. Yeah, it's a form of hemp, isn't it? Is it? Same sort of classification of plant, from what I know. I could easily be wrong on that one, actually. Come here, you bastard. Yeah, so this bow and arrow sorted. Uh, that's bow and arrow sorted after two weeks. Yeah. And, an, and, a, and another few days from to figure out what bloody tree it is. We check it out as you're going around. Good, right, so in all of this time it's taken you two to three weeks to build up an accurate way of defending yourself. And even then you've got training on top because I don't believe you've ever used a bow and arrow and if you have, have it's not been for an extended period of time. I have used a bow and arrow and I am a natural, thank you very much. I um, Oh, not believing it. You know when you go to visit different sec secondary schools? No. To try and figure out which one you want to go to. Yeah. No. no? Okay. Well, you could never do that thing. There was a school in my town where they had this big open day, and they had archery. And I was the only person to ever get the bullseye, apart from one of the teachers. So no. So, it would take you two weeks. Whereupon, eventually, hopefully, you would have made a bow. If you'd survived long enough. I would have made a bow. And then you're saying that you would have survived that long without a weapon, because you're claiming you need a weapon to survive. Yeah, I've got you could easily just and pieces run of wood. the hell away. I got massive spanners from my garage, you know? Yeah, but you could easily just run away. If we're talking about zombies, if they're like easily just crap, run zombies away. that are running around. No, 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 think real life. That thing wants to eat me more than anything else in the world. It can stand on two legs, it can run. No, it can't. It can. No, it can't. It can. No, not necessarily. It can. No. I disagree. Many things can stand on two legs, doesn't mean they can run. What are we doing here? I just put a fuel canister in the truck. Or the vehicle. Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Okay, you're driving. I don't want to drive. No? You drive. I can't, because you're driving. Get out then! Well, you get out. I want to see if it works, if I can still jump across the I don't know how to do it, that's what I'm waiting for. Come on, let's just go to where we need to go to. I don't know where we need to go to. Right, 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 right. That's right, is it not? Go, 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 go. Left, 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 left. He's a man. I'm killing zombies. You just get out. I was parking, man. <laughs> 